Hi everyone, it's Mandy and I am back. <laughs> so, oh my god, okay, right now California is in a heat wave that is crazy and I am miserable. <laughs> I don't know how you guys do it who live in the heat. It is not good and our house doesn't have AC. <sighs> so, well it has, technically it does have AC, but when we bought our house, uh, we bought it from from a couple who were older and tiny, <laughs> like really tiny, and uh, they did up up um, extras to their house. I want I, I don't know what word I'm looking for, but um, they did extras to their house. Well, the house is I think they got taken advantage of. Basically, we got a house, they got a house that, uh, or they got an air conditioner that was um, too small for the size of the house. So, it, and then our windows are like 35 years old. <laughs> so our windows are 35 years old and we have a shake roof. And so the air conditioning does not work, basically. It's not efficient and it ends up costing us a buttload in pg and &E. so let's just say that our pg and &E bill when we first moved in we brought a hot tub that we had from our old house and did not realize that the that even the electric here in our house is too too small for what we have so we were running this hot tub for many years and we were paying $500 a month in pg and &E, thinking that was normal. And it wasn't until we got rid of our hot tub that our pg and &E went down to below 300. And we were like, oh, alrighty, there's the culprit. <laughs> so yeah, so I can only imagine turning on the air conditioner, what that will do to our pg and &E. <laughs> So not gonna happen. So we are pretty miserable here in California and because we're not used to this. This is not our weather and uh, it is, I'm going to be sweating and if, if I still was filming with my cell phone, it would have turned off. So luckily I have my camcorder, but um, yeah, it's, it's pretty bad. <laughs> so I'm probably going to be glistening for a while on film because uh, I just turned off the fan so we can so you guys can hear me and uh, oh my goodness so yeah and some bus is probably gonna get louder because he is suffering too the poor little mister he I sound like I mean, Adele I've been watching your videos too much <laughs> so I've been really watching your videos a little too much apparently so <laughs> he but he <laughs> he is I just finished watching your video and that's why your vlog and so that's why I have that on my brain I guess but um, he is he is pretty miserable because like mama Mama was a big girl and where did, oh, it's right here, it's right here. So Mama was a big girl and uh, she was always miserable <laughs> when we had the heat waves because, you know, there's no relief for them. So last night, him and I, we took the puppies um, on a on a car ride. So we drove around our town just with the windows cranked open and just getting them, them getting them some fresh air and um, try and get some relief for them. So it was, uh, it's been pretty bad. So, okay, so this layout is one I am so happy with. So, so happy with. I love it. When I got done with it, I was like, oh, can I film it now? <laughs> can I skip ahead? <laughs> that kind of thing. Not that I don't, I mean, I love every single layout I do, uh, but you know, there's just some that are, you know, a little bit more like, oh, this is so cool. This is such a fun craft, you know, that kind of thing, right? And so that's what this one did it for me. Well, this is last year's uh, road trip. And we did the, oh, I keep doing that. Um, I did, we did the uh, road trip and because we live in Central California. And uh, well, we were, uh, let's see, let me put, I, don't, I want it here. And uh, we, we've never done um, the PCH tour and that is Pacific Coast Highway. We've never done that in our whole lives and our parents have never did it. And so Tim and I said, you know, one day, well, let's go to Disneyland, okay? Let's go to Disneyland, but let's take our time and let's do the PCH, let's go through PCH. 
So we were like, okay, let's do it. And so it was so it what we could see of it was beautiful. There were parts of like because we left early. There were parts of um, Santa Barbara, I believe, that were fogged over. So we're gonna have to do this tour again. But what we did have an open skies was so pretty. It was so pretty. So so worth it. And um, um. <laughs> so uh, the uh, it was uh, I would do it again but you would have to do one of those like you you feel like you know leisure time because it does take a while and you know you are in residential area quite a bit you know that kind of thing so uh, you have to you have to want to take your time and we did and we knew when we went that we did want to take our time so and what we ended up doing is we ended up making it into a foodie adventure also it's not really centered let me see let me try and center it um that's Kit Kat actually yeah that's Kit Kat that's she's hot too um <laughs> but um we uh what is it, Tony? Oh yeah, we did a foodie uh, foodie tour, and what we said we were gonna do was we were going to go to Trejo's, you know, Danny Trejo, um, from all kinds of movies, Triple X, you know, Machete, that kind of thing. Well, Danny Trejo has been opening up businesses in L.A., and they are um, there. He just opened two more. <laughs> He's been going to town with opening up places, so it's been pretty cool. But the first thing he opened up was uh, Trejo's Tacos. And so we decided to do that because he offers, like, vegan and, um, he offers vegan and, uh, uh gluten-free. So it was, like, an opportunity to go eat in, like, peace <laughs> kind of thing. So we took it. And, uh... So we decided to go do that. And, uh, oh man, whew, my back is stiff. Whew, that was hurt. That hurt to turn. <laughs> so uh, uh, you would think with warm weather, weather whew, your body would get a little bit more um, pliable. <laughs> it's not happening, guys. <laughs> I don't know why. Come on, I want to be Gumby for crying out loud. So um, preferably not green, but you know. <laughs> Um, so anyway, so off, off track <laughs> as usual. Um, so we went to uh, Danny's Trejo's or Danny's Tacos. Danny's, no, Trejo's Tacos. <laughs> Concentrate. He, we went to Trejo's Tacos. And you know what, guys? It didn't suck, okay? But it, seriously, we got this this food that I'm showing you right here. We got fi a fish taco, which is just like one fish fillet. We got a little um, like pineapple, like little probably piece of chicken kind of thing. A little bowl of rice, nachos with uh, guacamole, and a street corn um, salad bowl. And it was like 50 freaking dollars. And I'm like, Mexican food? I'm sorry, I grew up with Mexican food. And Mexican food cost that, this whole meal right here, if you would make it at home, would be honestly $5, honestly. So, I mean, corn tortillas are nothing. You know, they're itty bitty, they're like basically Mm, maybe two cents a piece because you get a hundred for you know a lot of like um you get like a hundred for 250 so you know it was just it was ridiculous okay so honestly the food was very um very not mexican <laughs> so um I mean, I'm not looking for my mom's cooking, you know, when I go out and eat Mexican food, not at all. But I do want flavor. That's all I ask for, right? That's all we ask for is flavor. And um, you, th with this, you got basically fresh ingredients, and that's what you end up getting. Well, <laughs> you know, hello. It would be fresh anyways, you know. <laughs> so that was a little, a little bothersome in a way because... I mean, fifty dollars is a lot of money, and for these, I mean, it, I mean, we honestly left, and we went um, to Disneyland right after, and we ended up getting food for lunch, and that's pretty awful, you know. When you leave hungry, it it's not right. It really isn't. And so, will we go back? Not a, no, 
no not at all it's worth it it was worth the experience of saying yeah we have gone to trejo's tacos but the food was mediocre at best i don't cook mexican food so i feel i could have done better you know what i mean so i'm just like yeah i could have done better and that's that's pretty sad so <laughs> but um yeah, so, it, but it was fun. It was a good experience to go, and now he's opened up a donut shop, a donut shop of all things. So you guys can see him on Instagram. Isn't that cute so far? I love that. Okay, so you can see him on Instagram, and he has a Danny's Trejo, or Trejo's Tacos, now Trejo's Donuts, and now Trejo's um, Cantina. It's, he has a cantina now. <laughs> so, uh, okay. <laughs> so, uh, we don't drink, so we don't even bother going over there. I mean, Tim drinks a little bit, but not like, you know, we've never been in a bar, so it's not like, you know, we're going to start now. So, <laughs> I've never been in a bar, but... Um, I have no interest. I don't, I don't know. It's just, uh, maybe it's just me. I just don't, I don't think of going into a bar and ordering a drink and sitting there and like, what are you supposed to do? You know, like, what are you supposed to do? <laughs> I don't understand. Uh, I don't, but I'm not a social person. So maybe that's why I don't, I don't get it, but I don't see the fun in it. <laughs> You're just drinking alcohol that cost you an arm and a leg. And for what? You could have, you know, went to the store and bought some, but I could be cheap too. I don't know. <laughs> so it could be that. I don't know. But yeah, it's, it was kind of sad. I was kind of bummed, but it was cool to go and at least try it because that's what you have to do. You have to try things to know if you like it or not. And what if it was amazing? Then we would have been, um, then we would have gone back, right? So it could have gone either way. Well, this one went the wrong way for me, but it still was picture worthy. I mean, everything was fresh. It really was. So that was cool. So everything was picture perfect. So, hey, that's pretty cool. I got pictures out of it, right? <laughs> so did you guys see that new triple X movie? Oh my God, it's so stupid. It was so stupid. Oh my God. Okay, but you guys have to watch Power Rangers because that was actually really good. So that was actually surprisingly good. And I'm not, I don't know Power Rangers. My kids watched it growing up, but I've never watched it with them. <laughs> I I just was never going to do that. And, um, and well, um, and Cheyenne really liked it. So, ah. Oh, and I got to tell you guys, this set was from... Um, I am sweating, you guys. Oh my gosh. So if you see any water dripping down, that is all sweat or <laughs> flinging out. <laughs> it is hot in my office. Oh my gosh. So I am thinking that I am... Okay, so just a little story here as I'm thinking about a pool. So we went to... I think I told this story, but I think it was with one of the... Yeah, I'm pretty sure it was the story that got cut. <laughs> That the video cut out on me. I think so. I don't remember. I think I was so frustrated by then that I didn't repeat myself when I got back. Yeah. So let me tell you again. If it's the same story, let's see how accurate I am. If it, if it's this, if it's uh, just like I told it before. So <laughs> I don't think I did though. But anyways, so Cordell and I, because I have inserts, so this is gonna be a long video. Whew. Okay, hold on a sec. So this um. So Cordell started college and we went the day before he started to go um, to go uh, see where his classes were and stuff. Get him, let him get a little bit acquainted on because um, um, he was going to take public transportation for the first time. So that way he could see where he was going and not rush. And so I took him down there, but we needed a new what I call watering hole. It's for we have a kiddie pool for the backyard. Um, for the wildlife all the wildlife and even we have feral cats up here and stuff whatever wants to, whatever whatever spiders um, you know bees anything that wants that needs water and they have a source for it in my backyard so because everyone needs water and they know to come up here so the deer come up here and they drink out of the watering hole because that's what I call it so when I refer to the watering hole, it's the kiddie pool in the backyard, and it's it's for them. It's for the wildlife. Okay, anyways, so we had two out there. Well, both of them, with the drought we had, it basically wore them out, and they were um, cracked, 
And so I told Cordell, let's go before we go to, um, before we go to um, your school, let's go get a kiddie pool. <laughs> so he's like, okay, fine. So we go to Walmart and we look around. Well, we ended up getting a fan because that was enough. This, that week was a, um, was a heat wave also. We had, we've had two heat waves so far. And, um, and so, um, he ended up um, needing a fan for his room, so we got a fan. So we got a big fan. <laughs> well, so he was carrying around this fan in Walmart, and we get to, I'm like, there's no kitty pools. It was wiped out because it was the day after this big ass heat, or big, ooh, big butt heat wave. So, excuse me, a donkey, right? Big donkey heat wave. And, um, and so it was like, okay, well, let's, uh, let's see what, um, they have so I asked the manager okay do you have any kiddie pools and they, they uh, call she's like did you look in garden and I'm like no so she's like, okay I'll call down the garden garden says they had one so Cordell and I we go over there we go to the garden area and they have one but it's a little bigger than a normal kiddie pool okay guys it's like it's maybe a little bit like a double you know and so I'm like hmm do I think I can get in the car? And I'm like, where is Mandy? Where is self-confident Mandy? I can get this in the in the car, no problem. So Cordell's like, okay. And so we grab it and we're taking it through the through Walmart and it's like massive. It's this massive kiddie pool. So we get it out and I'm like, okay, we're gonna get in the car. So we get over to the car and uh, and Cordell, you know, he doesn't even think twice. He's just like, okay. I said, we're gonna have to fold it gently. <laughs> So we fold it into my back of my compact car and it's a kiddie pool that's twice the size. It got in my car. So we went home. Well, we after we went to his school, we went home and uh, we pulled it out. It never cracked. It was fine. So those little kiddie pools are adorable, you guys. So I recommend them highly. <laughs> so yeah, so I fit the dang kiddie pool in my car. <laughs> and, uh, and so back there, I'm like, and then nobody likes wildlife. You guys do not like change. They do not like change at all. So they were wary of the pool. And I'm like, oh my God, I'm looking at the pool going, if you guys aren't going to get in it, I'm going to get in it, you know? And so I'm looking out right now and I'm like, I'm so hot. I'm like, oh, but they, they, they adjusted to it. But I'm like, oh man, maybe we need to get another kiddie pool that I can go sit my butt in there. So I'm like, okay. So <laughs> that reminded me of that story. So anyways, yes. So as we did the PCH tour, we said, you know what? We haven't, um, gone to um we hadn't gone to um see the nakatomi building you guys take a minute and figure out where the nakatomi building is from what movie is that from okay let so give you a second okay the nakatomi building is in la we have never been there. I'm like, how have we not gone on a on a on a trip and looked for the Nakatomi building? So we decided, well, we're doing the PCH. Might as well do. Why as well go look at the Nakatomi building? So which is from Die Hard, the movie Die Hard. It was filmed in L.A. Isn't this fun? Isn't this this is fun, right? This layout I just love. Oh, let me tell you guys, it is the. I have been hooked on my six by six paper pads. Seriously, guys, I've been hooked on them. So six by six, are we there yet? Cordabella. So it's pretty cool. So um, yeah. So we decided to um, when we did the PCH to go to um, see the Nakatomi building first. So these are the inserts. I'm gonna lay it on top. So we went to Disneyland. We've been going to Disneyland for 25 years, solid. So my kids have grown up there and you know when you go that much you don't really you've taken all the pictures you know when their kids are younger growing up there and so when you go now you're like trying to find something new that you haven't seen in your PL before right so it's like okay let's do the the uh, monstro let's do the, the do the ride and uh, so I got new pictures of this one so that was cool so yeah so Disneyland was was cool this is supposed to go oh you know what this is supposed to go like this sorry okay so this goes like this you guys so on the road, PCH, this is all PCH. And then, so what I did is, this is PCH, and this is what I, oh, so we didn't, so after leaving 
Trejo's Tacos, we went to the store and we got um, we got sandwich makings and and uh, nacho makings, um, and we took it to our hotel room like this because I took two pictures and they were um, vertical. So it's from Die Hard, and it is a beautiful building. And so here it is. We didn't stop and get out and stuff, but Nakatomi Plaza. It's not called that, of course, but it was for the movie. So anyway, so this is Disneyland. And I didn't go all Disney on this. I really didn't. I kept it really simple because of the inserts. Because I really, really want to keep it to three albums for last last year. So, And I got to use the new Carta Bella on toy, toy Box. Yeah, Toy Box set. If you guys go to Disneyland, I totally recommend Mater, Mater's Ride and the um, Radiator Springs. It's so fun. I've told you guys that before. But see, so I try to get new ones, new pictures. So that, so that is the, um, so this is week 34. Is that right? 34. Adventure of Weights. Isn't this fun? I love how it came out. Oh, see, so my camcorder turns off at 19 point like something so I may have I didn't look up in time to see it stop for a second so for a split second I may have gone quiet or maybe weird but that's why because it started again and that's okay because now my videos can be longer because my husband showed me how to splice them together and when he showed me how to splice them together guys he it, on there there's a, a setting where I can take photos I can add the photos so I'm thinking I'm gonna try and see if I can take pictures of my layout like closer like um closer pictures up close pictures of it and then um add it to the end of the video would that be cool would that be something you guys would like because i saw where i can do it but i'm not sure i've never done it before but i'm willing to try it if you guys would like to see um them closer at the end so okay i need more deodorant i'm gonna go not that anyone's home <laughs> like who cares i'm gonna waste deodorant yes i'm gonna waste deodorant because yeah i don't like smelling myself so <laughs> my husband's at work for three days he won't be home till tuesday i'm so sad but I will get to PL so I get to PL all weekend so I will talk to you guys uh, later but let me thank Miss D Emma Griffins yeah the babies yeah like I said they don't handle um, bus doesn't handle the heat well he doesn't he's over oversized he's supersized and it it takes a toll on him so he's very hot so last night we just kept the fan on him like wholeheartedly one fan was on him and he slept in front of it and then um barb s we always need to take pictures of these babies in secret <laughs> scrapping posh hello thank you again natalie g and kim lee trujillo thank you guys very much thank you thank you thank you and i you know i can't thank you guys enough i hope you love my layout because i did so let me give you my banana hands banana hands so all right you guys have a wonderful saturday it is saturday i have two videos coming up after this one or yeah after this one uh coco daisy and a video of bus so you gotta hear bus <laughs> not that you can't hear right now but that's actually kit kat so all right guys have a great weekend bye